Hi everyone, I'm Katie. This is my husband Rashad and we own the meal prep company. We've started this business a little over six months ago now and we're just going to tell you a little bit about our journey of entrepreneurship. That's right, we own the meal prep company. We offer healthy portion fresh meals to go. Uh, it's basically made for busy people on the go, busy families don't have time to cook, uh, busy you know, young adults that own businesses or out there in the workforce just don't know what to cook. Um, all our meals contain five to six ounces of protein, four ounces of carbs, and a couple of vegetables in each microwaveable container. Viewers want to know is what skills as individuals have helped you through your entrepreneurship journey? Um, so just to name a few, there's definitely been been many that we have had some that we had to acquire that we didn't start with for sure. Um, but one of the main things I think for us as as a couple starting this business has been first of all perseverance. Um, Starting a business we know is something that's difficult. We know people who have started business who can tell you this is going to be difficult. Um, but I don't think you actually grasp how difficult and how many different things um, there that you need to do to, to start a business. So perseverance has been huge. There's been many times where we're like, oh my God, what are we doing? You know. So you have to be able to um, to get back up when you're feeling down. Um, being organized is huge too, and there's so many different things that have to be done in the day to day um, that that you don't think about. So organization skills has been a huge thing um, for us. Being able to, I love lists. I love doing lots of lists and, and things like that. That helps. And also just knowing what your strengths and weaknesses are. Right? There's there's things that I'm not good at that Rashad is good at. Things that he's not so good at that I'm good at. So that that's helped us a lot as a couple. Of so so yeah, absolutely. Awesome. And being a team is huge too. You need a good support system. Right. Number one thing too, I think, is communication is huge. Mm -hmm. uh, not only are we business partners, but we're a married couple. You know, so it, it's we have a lot more invested in this than just you know finances. It's, it's our entire life. It's our baby. Um, yeah. I think what many young entrepreneurs want to know is what piece of advice would you go back to give yourself prior to opening up your business? Um, number one thing is make sure you know what you're getting yourself into. In all honesty. Um, I thought it was going to be glamorous, uh, you know, just fun. Uh, like, in, in all honesty, my wife and I, we argued for months <laughs> about where the couch was going to go in, in order to where the TV is. So, because, you know, the, the whole day we're going to be. Right, we're going to be sitting and watching TV. We're going to cook for a couple hours during the day. And, then watch. and I, I think this interview is probably the lengthiest time, amount of time that we've spent sitting on this couch. Um, we, we had no clue of what we were getting ourselves into um, six, seven days a week. It, no problem doing a 14 hour day. Every single day, day in and day out. Um, and you just gotta know like, you know, family get togethers, you miss them. Birthdays, you miss them. You, you just miss so much of your previous life. Um, we are finally just after a year of starting this whole business planning and everything, just starting to get back into the gym. Um, it, it's a crazy amount of dedication, a crazy amount of hours that you put in. Yeah, so absolutely, that would be a huge amount of dedication. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. A piece of advice that I would have or that I would want to give somebody who's, who's doing this is to, um, to get out there and talk to people who are not necessarily maybe doing the exact same thing that you are, but to talk to other people who have started businesses and are being successful. Like, Pick their brains, ask them questions. You know, there's a lot of people out there who are we have found now that we're here, um, business owners who come in who are more than happy to to lend a hand to help. You know, to ask for questions, to be in here. So I think that's super important to find those people who are doing the same things that you're doing um, and to take their advice. It's, it's wisdom, right? If they've succeeded, then why not mm -hmm. take some of that wisdom? Of course, utilize your resources. Yeah, absolutely. So what is the biggest challenge you face on your entrepreneurship journey? Um, I think my biggest challenge was always trying to stay positive, you know, um, there, there's a lot of people, there, there is a lot of people that are just quick to jump on the no bandwagon or the, um, it, it's hard or, you know, don't do it, it's tough, but it, it, my biggest challenge was always trying to, uh, re-communicate to myself that, you know, I am able to do this and I can do this. You know that it is possible. It is something that I can accomplish, um, and, and just trying to, you know, saying that over and over and over to myself. Um, for me, there's definitely many challenges that come along with um, starting a business. But one of the biggest things that that pops out to my mind is 
I guess you can say, um, adapting to being a business owner, right? Um, I worked in the food industry for 12, 13 years, so that's something that I was super familiar with, very comfortable with, um, but it was all the other different things um, that you had to learn, like to become a, a well-rounded a well -rounded business owner. Um, not only the cooking, but um, the communicating on a day-to-day -day with the customers, the bookkeeping, the ordering, um, all of the different things that came with it. That was a big challenge for me, tried learning how to incorporate all those things down in one day and learning when, when they needed to be done. Time management was a huge thing. Um, so I think for me that was the biggest challenge, like taking the whole business as a whole and, and learning how to do it well and um, efficiently. I'm sure you guys have faced many challenges along the way. However, mm -hmm. you're adapting those challenges and you've created a successful business here today. It's amazing. I've got to try some of the shakes today and they're very delicious. Okay. I'm sure there's a lot of things that you guys learned along the way as well. I want to thank you guys for taking the time on your busy day. I know you're very busy to sit down with me and, and answer a couple of my questions. Thank you. It was our pleasure. Yeah, thank you very much for coming. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Thank you everyone for taking the time to listen to our journey of entrepreneurship. Uh, come check us out at the Meal Prep Company, the corner of Dougal and Cabana, right beside The Good Life. Um, and just so you guys know, all students get 15% off when you show your student card. We got deal. meals, very good deal. Protein shakes, coffees, espressos, uh, protein bars, all that good stuff.